Yo, this your boy Dante and Hondo. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. You already know. All right, so uh, what's up, man? Who we got here today? Who you, who you got with you, bro? Man, niggas in my back, bro. In the back of me, bro. That's my nigga. That's my nigga's uh, T. So I got my nigga T. Glock, bro. Yeah. Big Bear. Side Glizzy. C. Dot. Narski. I got my nigga Tymir. Oh, my nigga. All right. All right. So these like day ones? He's like, yo, yeah. Yeah, day one. yeah, bro. Niggas I knew since school, bro. You getting the bag with these niggas, bro. Real rip. All right. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So about to ask, I'm about to ask you some questions, all right? So, oh, all right, so. how I feel, like, how how did it feel to be, in, like, how did it feel to be arrested at 17? Shit, at 17, this ain't, like, this shit ain't nothing new, bro. This shit, this shit been happening, bro, since I was, like, what? This shit just been happening, bro. I I really got arrested at, like, like 15 when I was really, like, yeah, bro. A like, year, yeah, like. It's like in there, bro, it, 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 don't, it don't feel right. Like, it's a young nigga, bro, especially, like, not having a dad, bro. Like in your life, bro. Cause my dad, my dad, he got like he got like five more years left in in the cell, bro. Yeah, that nigga, like, yeah, he he, I just got away, bro. But yeah, yeah, bro. He, he, he I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. So, like, did you do you have like any second thoughts on the life that you live, like with all the stuff you did in the past? You feel me? Yeah, I'm like, bro. Like, so if like say. I'm with my niggas, right, bro? We we finna go like if we if we do something, bro. I'm, I'm always getting second thoughts. I gotta think, like, bro. What if, what if, like, what if, like, what if this happened, this and this happened, that happened, bro? It's like, it's like, so much you can think of, bro, type shit, bro. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So, bro. like, like, dude, do, do you feel that your music had a whole impact on the, on the city, like, because if you go to the views, like, when you dropped that song, that one song, everybody was hyped. So, like, how did you feel when that happened? Yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody that key. Yeah, I heard. I seen a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't know how this coming out Philly, so they're gonna do shit. I keep. Yeah, I kept seeing that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout out to all the niggas that could, uh, was making little things of that shit, bro. For so and promoting my shit. Yeah. yeah, But anyway, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel good, bro. I feel like I was really, really the hottest coming out Philly. But I had to move to Atlanta due to some shit going on. Like, yeah, even, yeah. even, even the beef shit. But I had to just chill around, bro. Cause like I was really about to do something, but niggas, cause niggas was pissing me off, bro. Yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you. So, yeah. Um, all right, so next question, like, are you, like, you feel like signing? Like, if you would, if you would get the chance to sign, would you sign? It, it depends, it depends, it depends. Like, if I wanted it to depends. leave, bro, I, yeah, bro, yeah, for sure, yeah, I'll sign. Oh, all right. Some of, the, some of that shit, bro, that shit be like, yeah, they, see, look, bro, this, the industry just work weird, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I'm gonna say that. And, um, like, what would you say, what would you say to the people, like, how to move in the streets and stuff, like, because I know you really, you really from the streets, so, like, how would you move, like, in the streets and stuff? Look, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, don't, don't always stay in the crib, bro, stay in the crib sometimes, bro, don't, don't be on, don't talk too much on the internet, bro, because that's how, that's how niggas get killed out here, bro. I seen, mm, I seen okay. plenty of niggas that happen, bro, even, even ops, bro, word, bro, like, yeah, bro. Especially, especially, yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, stay, stay in the crib sometimes, bro. It's good It's good to stay in the crib and just let yourself rock for a little bit, bro. And just, yeah, wait, bro. Yeah, bro. That's all. And, I um, I got another question. Um, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, like, answer this if you don't want to. But, like, how, how did everybody feel that, everybody that surrounds you right now, how did they feel on the impact, like, your brother dying and stuff? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I will. I ain't gonna lie. I went to. I started. I got. I. I really just started crying. To be honest. To be honest, like I just dropped down on my knees. Like, bro, cause he said he went out to go do something. He about to go to the pot the stove. I was like, alright, but bro. I was like, alright, I'm gonna sit down and wait. And bro, that shit happened, bro. They they really the ones who really told me about it though. That's why I, I was like, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. it, plus, it took this nigga so long. I'm like, bro, what, what this nigga at with this stuff, bro? I gotta ask for my stuff, bro. Everything, and eat. yeah, bro. Damn. Um. So, you seen you seen on the news, right? On like the DA and stuff, trying to put all the drill rappers in jail. Do you yeah. think your music like influenced violence and stuff, the killing in the city? See, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Killing and violence, bro. I don't. 
don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't really like to. I don't really like to talk about that. But like, I will talk about it in this interview. So look, the all right, free Agala, free all the drill rappers. That's all. That's that's in jail right now, bro. Ain't gonna lie. Some of the, some of these niggas be hard. I be listening to them niggas for so. But like, mm -hmm. nah, bro. Hell, I mean. I mean, like, when you listen to music, bro, and, like, say say you got a, like, say you got a gun, bro, like, right next to a, a toy gun or some shit, bro, like, a nice yeah. gun, bro, you really just think, yeah. you just, like, I used to get, like, I used to get, like, when I listen to music, bro, I used to, like, get that, like, a little attention on Alright, so, like, is there any artists that you fuck with now in the city? Yeah, bro, in RC, bro, I ain't gonna lie, you know I fuck with these niggas, I'm gonna still say their names, bro, like, yeah, bro, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga uh, Honcho, bro. My nigga was oh, okay. shit, bro. Mm, they hard, bro. I heard that new song, bro, when I was in jail, bro. Yeah, bro, that shit hard, though. Mm -hmm. And, like, so, if if y'all, like, if y'all, like, I know y'all having a little war right now, but, like, do y'all think y'all y'all ever settle the beef in the end? Shit, I don't know. We got a, we got a lot. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff behind it, though. A lot of. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff behind it. We do, bro. I ain't got no problem with this. It. It's like, bro, it's just like, yeah, type shit, bro. Niggas, yeah. It's just, it's a lot of dead niggas behind it, bro. Or dead people, bro. Yeah. yeah okay. I want to so, Um, so next question, um, is that if the rap, if the rap, um, if the rap game don't work out for you, what would be your next, uh, step? My next step? I mean, I got the money to, like, like the rap game nowhere, I got the money to create a business, bro. I got enough money to make a little franchise and shit, make a business, bro. Make some mm -hmm. money, bro. Just like that. Type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um while you was locked up, like the buzz just went on for the pit and they 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 views done skyrocketed. How you feel about that? Shit, it's no shit. I don't hate on niggas. I fuck with them niggas, bro. That shit hard, bro. Just quiet, bro. Quad, he needs to some. He needs to just get out the studio, though. You know, I, I still fuck with Quad with his music a little bit, but he needs to just get out the studio, bro, and chill out. Uh, Quad, yeah, we done did. We done did an interview with Quad earlier, and he was oh, yeah. saying he was saying some stuff, but like we, we ain't gonna talk about that. We are gonna get to the next question. Oh, cool. All right, all right. So next question, like how how old how old how old was you when you started rapping? Like how. How did you start? Shit, like you talking about like studio was or like 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 just like, like starting type like, shit. Like, like starting starting, like as a youngin. Alright shit. I really like I ain't gonna lie, as a kid, bro, I started rapping at the age of fucking like five, bro. And shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. It was like I you like I used to just say some random ass shit. Like as I as I grew, bro, I started getting better and better and better, bro. Like at the age of thirteen. Me and my, my, like, me and my niggas, we was like, all right, bet, bro, if you scuss the stool, bro, this shit hard. I was like, all right, bet. I ain't never went there, but, like, yeah, because you got to pay for school. Hey, so and then it's for, I, I turned, I turned 15, I'm like, all right, bet, fuck it, bro. Because I seen, because I seen my nigga, this nigga Hunto, bro, he's like, he was dissing me and shit, so I was like, oh, all right, bet, let me get this through. My music was ass, though. So, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So, like. If you ever plan on, if you ever plan on to like have children and stuff, who, 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 what image would you leave them with? To get out to like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna stay with five kids, bro. I'm not gonna stay here. Like, I'll probably stay for a little bit. I was like, man, I'm like, no, hell, no. I'm, I'm gonna get up out of here, bro. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. It's like that's a bad environment for my kids, bro. And like, yeah, bro. And I'm, yeah, bro. And they, they and I gotta make a make a better life for them. I gotta get out of the trench, bro, because it's it's not it's not safe here, bro. For so. Especially, especially like the environment I live around, bro, and the niggas I know, the niggas I know that want me dead and gone, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, real shit. Uh, but like, how was it for you growing up in like the hood of Philly and stuff? Like, how was it? Shit, shit, I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was, it was me, bro. It was me. I, I ain't. I'm not even those crazy. I'm, I'm really not even from where I'm from. Where I say I'm from, I'm really where I'm really from where Hot over here, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Until we just had a little beef, but like. It, it was oh, weird, bro. so y'all had like a y'all had like a little out like an outspring and stuff. Y'all ain't fuck with each other no more. Yeah, bro. No. I had a, it was a fight. It was like a little fight that had went on. I don't know if y'all seen the video. I think the video. Yeah, was on. It, it was on World Star. I seen that video. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and they got mad, bro. They kicked me off the block. I was like, all right, better, bro. So I was like, I'm gonna just go live with my cousin and shit, and bro. I'm, here I am, just living. I've been living with them. 
I had got my own crib over here. I was like, all right, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, um, next question. So like, if you feel if you feel to like you know be like a a mainstream artist, you feel to be a mainstream artist. Like, what would be what would be your next move? Hey, I think I already asked this question. I don't know. Mm, yeah, you kind of did. I used to love. So look, if I'm a mainstream, if I'll be a mainstream. Like, if it don't work out, bro, then. Shit, I don't know, bro. Like, I can't get, I can't try, like, I'm 17. I could probably try to get a scholarship, bro. And try to play in the NBA, bro, but, like, or football, because I'm good at, I'm really good at both sports. But, bro, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really even know for real, bro. I might, I might, it's, it's like, it's, it's a lot of shit you could do with your life, bro, for real. So, I don't know. And, um, like, how did your parents feel when they found out you was living this lifestyle? Like, Shit, my dad, he in jail. But he like he I, he called me from time to time. Like he said, he, he was like, I heard your music, this and that, bro. My mom, bro, she, 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 she really just don't even care, bro. As long as long as I'm 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 living, bro. I'm healthy, bro. I'm keeping myself straight, bro. She don't care, bro. Word. And um, is there is there any artists that you dislike in the city? This like I have no no hell no I ain't got no hate on on no artists bro I ain't got no hate on no artists bro I fu I fuck with all my I fuck with all the niggas I hang with I you know the niggas I and I the niggas I used to hang with bro. Okay 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 okay. Uh -huh. So like you said you said you was originally from the pit right? Bro. Yeah. So like, did you know anybody like did you know you know the little boy that had died? I think his name was Six or something. Did you know him by any chance? Yeah, yeah, bro. I used to be on that nigga. Yeah. Okay. I used to, I used to just play fight with the nigga though for sure. But like, Six, Six, he, Six is really just a ball player for real, bro. But he, yeah, bro. He, he used to talk a lot of shit, bro. And then when you meet the nigga in person, bro, he, he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be on that type of timer, bro. Alright. And how do you feel? How do you feel about niggas that hate on your music? Niggas that hate on my music, bro. I love y'all niggas, bro. At the end of the day, bro, you can you can stay hating, bro. You can you can be the you could be the first nigga to still watch my shit, but I still heart so coming, bro. That's how it's like, bro. That's how like I just laugh. Yeah, at yeah. Shit, bro. It's funny. Yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. But like, what led you to dissing like your little six? What led you to dissing like all the members from over there from the pit? It, they kicked me off the block, bro. And bro, I went to I went to my cousin, bro. It's like. See, all right, I'm gonna just stay over here. They, they, he started dissing us. He started dissing my, uh, my other, my man, my friend Mo, the one that died in the car crash. I was like, yeah. all right, mate. So, like, I'm about to get up on that. We started dissing little six. We started dissing six and stuff, bro. I was like, yeah, we smoking six, dissing that, bro. Cause, like he, he died like he died like like five days before. So he was like, all right, bet, bro. He's gonna say fuck. We smoke a little six, bro. Dissing that, bro. And then, bro, yeah, they was talking about they, this nigga Hancho. He was just talking about a lot of stuff, bro, in that song. But yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. And before we, before we, before we get off of here, who would you want to say to the people who want to become like real artists? Man, bro, stay consistent, bro. Keep trying, bro. And bro, don't don't let your don't let your guard down, bro. Keep, bro. If you feel like you're not doing it, doing it good, bro, keep trying, bro. Keep going to the studio, bro. No matter how much the studio time uh, takes, bro, and then you got to pay for it, bro. Get your bag, bro. Bro, if you feel like you got to leave the city, bro, because, like, niggas, they be hating on niggas, bro. Your own, it be your own people hating on you, bro. So you just leave the city, bro. You got to leave the city, bro. Do that, bro. Word. Shit, yeah. Real rip. It was cool having you up here, man. Yeah, you too, bro. Yeah, bro.